have a haul to upload for you guys. It is 42 books. These books, they all weren't full price. The only books that I paid full price for were the books that are new. So any book that just came out this month or like recently are the only books I paid full price for. So I'm actually very proud of myself. So I did save a lot of money. So the first book I got is Not Your Average Hot Girl. I actually read this book in October and this book is about this girl who mom's old in an escape room. The people, there are these people that come in the escape room and she thinks they're just trying to play the escape room. But then they start pulling out this book that was a prop there and they start summoning the devil. And she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then the devil gets summons and then they take this book and they run off with it. So now she has to get the book back because clearly it was important. So yeah, I read this book. I gave it three stars. It was fun. It's going to be a sequel, so I'm very excited to read. Next book I have is Fangs. I read this in October as well. Loved it. Five stars. It is about a love story between a vampire and a werewolf. So cute, so relatable, funny. It's everything. I hauled this in, um, I, I hauled this, I hauled this in my haul, my most recent haul, but I realized I said, oh, I got this book from Book of the Month and I have it, I'll show you later. But I don't remember if I ever hauled this book actually. So if I hauled this book twice, sorry, I just don't remember if I hauled this book or not. Summer Sons, this one is a gothic horror story about this guy who friend dies and he feels really bad about it and he goes to live in his friend's he inherits his friend's house and then he realizes that the his friend's roommate and his friend his roommate's friends are just like really intriguing. The Night Circus, it is about the the circus who you can never really catch the circus just comes around disappears and the people there's these two people who are fighting to be like the greatest magicians ever and they actually end up falling in love i do own this book in paperback but i read it in october and i loved it so i bought the hardcover <laughs> the next part is just a stephen king book haul and even though this is the stephen king part there are more stephen king books here um i basically became a fan of stephen king in october and i own a lot of his books I gave this man a dedicated shelf, so let's just let's just get into it. So I hauled three books in the uh, Dark Tower series because these books are hard to find, but I ironically got the books that are the easiest to find. So yeah, I did have another book, but I was like, okay, like I did start reading the series because I was a little bit bored and I just wasn't feeling it, but I am gonna start reading the series. So hopefully they aren't too hard to find as I like, you know do start back up with i got these books i gotta buy four get two free sale on ebay ebay is my bestie most of my stephen king books by the way i got from ebay because if i want to find like a book that's hard to find but ebay is basically like my thrift stop and then amazon also has a used book section which i also do but i usually do it if it has amazon prime so and then if it doesn't do amazon prime i'll just go to ebay but yeah okay so i got the sale which I haven't read, but it's about, like, this, uh, I don't know. Something about, like, apocalypse and cell phones and people who have cell phones or use them, like, turn into zombies, something. That Bizarre Bad Dreams, which is a short story collection. I actually got this book. It's one of my very first books I got when I joined BookTube, but I had the mass market paperback. And so I just love the hardcovers, and I do love this cover, so I just decided to rebuy it. Plus, it was for the four, uh, buy four, get three, two free. So I was like, well, turn it was free, so... I got Dolores Claiborne, which is one of my all-time favorite Stephen King books. If you guys want me to do a video of ranking Stephen King, let me know. And also, for some reason, like, the book is, like, it's weird. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't sit straight for some reason. So, I don't know. Whatever. So, this picture of Stephen King. And then I got The Stand. The Uncut. I think I'm going to read this book in December. Who knows? This is a thousand pages um i have read one a thousand page stephen king book a month i've read the under the dome last month and i read it this month speaking of under the dome i got under the dome it's about this town that randomly gets a dome under it and the people inside start going crazy and it is a story of good versus evil i got duma key because it's very like underrated but the more people talk about it the more i don't care for it yeah this one is about this guy who can paint and he goes to Duma Key, which is like one of the very few Stephen King books that don't take place in Derry or Castle Rock or like any other made up place. This one takes place in Florida. And it's about this guy from the paint and he like meets this girl and I don't really know what else happens. So then I got The Regulators and 
desperation so my desperation i had to reorder the regulators because i ordered it off amazon used and it came without the dust jacket so then i ordered it off ebay used and it came with the dust jacket and i was so sad about the dust jacket because they go together so i had to have both of them also the backs desperation is about this guy this it's about this uh this this thing named tack he's very evil and he can possess people and he possesses this police officer so this police officer starts kidnapping and killing everyone that comes to town and then the regulators is this story but in an alternate universe where some of the people in the book are kids so the kids in this book are adults in this book some of them i don't know if all of them and it's about tech but he's also taking over the body of a little boy i don't know i heard this one was really weird this one i read a little bit more cartoonish this one i haven't read and i heard it was like really weird so i mean i am a little nervous to start this one i did get from target and i did not use my discount for but 30 percent off there's always a sale with books at target so um this one i got billy summers because this is his most recent release and this one is about this guy who is he's he's hired to kill somebody and he's sitting in a room with a gun I don't know i heard it was good and i like the cover 11 63 which is so ironic because when i first heard about this book like i've heard about this book for years now when i first heard about it i was like ugh, i don't care about this book like who cares about jfk like a fictional book about jfk like how is that scary um and then the more i heard about it like the more i actually heard about it the more i was like oh this actually sounds really good so this is about this guy who travels back in time to stop jfk from dying a lot a big reason as to why i'm reading so many stephen king books is because he has a big universe and they're all connected and so i read it because i know that one is like a lot of books connect so i heard 11 22 63 connects to it and um the tommy knockers connect to it and insomnia take place in dairy which not a lot of books take place in dairy so now that i've read it i can happily read 11 22 63 and i think i want to upload me a reading vlog of me reading this book on the date but nobody cared about my salem star reading vlog so i don't i don't know i don't know i don't care that no one cares like i have fun reading these books i also have needful things which i don't know this book just came like used like there's a hole in the dust jacket um i just love i love used books okay they just they got a lot of love um I don't know and this one takes place in castle rock it's the last castle rock story and it's about this guy and from his shop you can get whatever you need from it and you just owe him something in return and he basically starts asking people to do stuff in return to see how far they'll go and i don't know i just love that stephen key touches on topics that aren't just horror like he touches like how far would you go if you want something good versus evil like how people in a small town will react when that small town isn't as perfect as it used to be it's just I like it. The Nostra, I bought the hardcover because I want the paperback and I wanted the hardcover. This one is a Dark Academia book about this girl who goes to the school and whenever you do something bad, instead of you getting punished, your family and your friends get punished. The Last Graduate, which I got from Book Depository. I pre-ordered this. I don't know if I'll do that again. I think I'm, I don't know. I think I'm better off pre-ordering from Amazon UK. But I prefer the UK covers because the US covers have the gold trim around it and it just makes the covers look weird. I don't know. But this one is a second book from Deadly Education. I did read this book and I gave it five stars, of course. I also got Kingdom of the Curse, which I gave three stars to. I read this in October. I also read the um I also read The Last Graduate in October. So if you want to see that, watch my wrap up. And I gave this one three to five stars. It is a sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked. My buddy read this one with Kat. Bambi and Katarina. Okay, I have sh Shadows in the Ember, which I did a reading vlog for. This one is the newest book in a new series that follows the very first maiden, Serafina, and the god Nyctos. This one, it takes place in the world of From Blood and Ash, but you do not have to have read this book to um, continue on the series. I bought the book in hardcover. So now we get with Jennifer L. Armitage, she's a little iffy for me. So what I usually do is I pre-order the ebook and then if i like the book by like i mean four stars and up i pre-ordered the and then i ordered the book on barnes and noble because these covers are 30 dollars. i'm not about to just be paying 30 dollars for a book in hopes that i'll you know maybe i'll like it so i do have to get a little bit stingy with my money when it comes to jennifer i'm sure i'm so sorry but well, she's teetering the line for me you know i got children of doom because i did redo it in october and i loved it so i now continue on with the series i am trying to focus on getting buried with series and i'm also focusing on reading fantasy and adult fantasy and just broadening just getting better at reading adult fantasy because i don't know what the hell i be reading and these two books were sent to me by a subscriber their name is Inslaw, and they sent me the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle which my sister has been 
bullying me to read because she read it and she liked it and then the storm crow which has been, just been on my amazon wish list for a minute i just thought it was very intriguing so uh, i was not expecting either of these books at all i think they just bought it just to be kind which is very kind and if you're watching this thank you so much i bought night pleasures me and monet from life as monet are supposed to be buddy reading this together it is a paranormal romance book in the dark hunter series and i'm trying to get into paranormal romance but like this kind of paranormal romance a lot more so like black dagger brotherhood fever series i'm trying to get some more into these paranormal romances a lot more i've been trying to for the past year i don't know what it is like i read some last october and then i never picked them up again so in november i kind of want to focus on reading a little bit more of those as well as my adult fantasies and i got this book the golem and the gem because the gin the genie and what i called this book in one of my um vlogs i said the gum good the golem and the gin but it's the genie but anyway this one is about the a golem and the genie that travels back in time randomly and i don't know i just the way that reagan described it sounds so much better she actually knew what she was talking about whenever i haul books unless i like have read them or have heard about them a lot i really don't know what they're about but she described this one so wonderfully and the cover was beautiful and i got this one for 17 dollars on amazon use section. i'm telling you amazon use section is your best friend okay it's, and if it has prime delivery take it take it i got poison princess by cressley cole this author, I forgot what else she writes, but this one is like tarot card magic. It also has a love triangle. I love that, but it's YA, so I am a little, I was a little scared to get into it, but I heard tarot card magic, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to check this out. But then I heard that the series hasn't been continued, and the author just disappeared. So I guess I'll just read up until where the author stopped continuing. I got a, I got a lesson in vengeance because. Well, I don't know why, but I got a lesson in vengeance. Oh, because Reagan did the, talked about this in a dark gaming reader vlog, and she said that this one is female, female, and it also has an unreliable main character and an unreliable main character and a um, dark academia book. Just sounds amazing. It kind of reminds me of Catherine House a little bit, or makes me think of Catherine House. I have the love hypothesis because I had to make sure I got them without the TikTok sticker. Like, I knew it didn't because Jocelyn kept me like it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. But I just wanted to be sure. So I do have this book in the book of the month edition, but I really love just owning my romance books in these small little paperbacks. Like it's just so tiny and so cute and I just love having them on my bookshelf. But the Death of Jane Lawrence, because this one was talked about a lot. Um I was supposed to get this I was supposed to get to this one for Vampathon, but I'm kind of treating November as like my spooky month part two, so I'll probably still try my best to get to it. I got the last house on Needless Street, which I was gonna start before Vampathon, but then I didn't get into it and then I started during Vampathon, but then also couldn't get into it. So I'm still going to try. It's about this house on Needless Street. I don't know. Stephen King blurred it, which I think is funny. What the? What is going on? I keep smacking myself with books, dropping books. Like, I got uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Got this one. Of course, like I said, I got most of these books to use. And I'm just so surprised I got this one for as much as I did. I think I got it for like $7. And it came pretty fast. So I'm going to be reading this book this month. And then if I like it, I'm going to buy the rest of the trilogy. I know not to I know to only read the trilogy and not to read the other books because they aren't as good. I got Iron Widow because... Did I haul this one? I'm sorry if I hauled this one. But this one is a, a poly book I heard. And that's all I need to know, to be honest. And it's also, it's inspired by Pacific Rim, which I've never seen before. So I'm going to have to watch that one before I, watch that before I read it. But it's also sci-fi, which as you guys didn't know, like I'm really into sci-fi right now. So. And then Disney Book Group sent me um, the entire Tristan Strong series, which I do have the first book because I also worked with them for the first book. So I have, I think these are all out of order. Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. Tristan Strong destroys the world. And Tristan Strong keeps punching. So I definitely do want to check these, do want to read these books because, you know, it's a black author and it's under like Rick Ryan Presents. And I just am not good with reading middle grade. It's nothing wrong with middle grade. It just reads, I just feel like it's, I don't know how to explain it because I don't want to say it's too young for me because like that's the point. But it's just like everything that I look for in books, I don't think I would find in middle grade, if that makes sense. Like, I look for certain plot lines and really like it's kind of why I stopped reading YA because YA also couldn't push the boundaries that I wanted to push out middle grade definitely couldn't but I don't know there are also middle grades out there that are amazing so I do want to give it a try especially because it's by a black author and these covers are so pretty okay and then the last like 
three books I have. So I have some more Stephen King books to haul, and then I don't know why I'm saying that's it. Like this isn't the end of the haul, but um, I have the Tommy Knockers, and this one is the Gallery Books Edition because I have Insomnia in this book, and then I have another book in this edition. And then I bought, I actually bought two more books in these editions because I just like how the paperbacks look. Like obviously you guys know that I love hardcovers of a paperback, but I want to be very particular about the paperbacks that I get. And I think after. I think I just need to get Misery and Misery and Gerald's Game and then I'll have all the Stephen King books that I want to read at least once. I do have some two copies of but after those two I'll have all the ones that I'm actually interested in for now. So if you guys want to see my Stephen King collection video even though yeah if you guys want to see my Stephen King video collection video let me know because even though I hauled a lot this month I own a lot of this man's books. So if you want to see the video let me know. I could also do a video of me ranking his books that I've read so far and if you guys want to see like more separate like Stephen King hauls just let me know let me know. So yeah I got the Tommy Knockers which is like his alien book. A lot of Stephen King fans don't like this one but I know that this one is connected to it and that is what keeps me reading Stephen King books because all of his universes like his books like the characters the characters overlap or they mention something in another book because they mention something in Insomnia um in the institute they mentioned the outsiders and so um and then in the outsiders a character from mr mercedes is in the outsider and even in it there was this one reference that i read and i was like this this has to do with something it was a reference to castle rock and it was a reference to like this man killing people or something like that and i was like this has another reference i do have a map of like the stephen king books that reference each other but it's not updated but anyway so yeah the tommy knocker it has like aliens and whatever and then i have a firestarter which this one is about this girl and this one is also going to be a movie with zach efron is going to be playing a dad like y'all we're so old right now to the point where zach efron zach efron high school musical is going to be playing a dad we're freaking old firestarter is about this girl and her father who are running away and i feel like this one might have a little connection to the institute i don't know it could it would make sense if it did stephen king likes to write about little kids with powers and i love him for that because i think he raised children so great so it's about this little girl who has powers and his dad who also has powers and like running away from these uh evil people and yeah very short i really miss when stephen king wrote short i'm saying i miss but i'll definitely get into this one i'm not saying very short it's like 500 pages but and then the last book finally that i have to haul is dune heretics of dune i think this one is the second to last one because i just ordered two more so yeah so there's god emperor of dune heretics of dune and then ch uh chapter house of dune so i do have uh i do have god emperor of dune and chapter house of dune on the way well yeah so I have two more books and then my Dune copies clean. But yes, thank you for watching this video. If you have read any of these books, let me know. If you are interested in reading these books, let me know. And like I said, if you want any more Stephen King videos, let me know as I'm like a Stephen King girl or whatever now. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video. If you like this video, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.